When the stock market is doing well, it's tempting to chase after popular stocks, yet the real game changer lies in spotting undervalued treasures with massive upside potential. That's what we're going to be looking into today. In this video, we'll discuss why buying the 52-week low stable stocks can be a strategic move for long-term investors, and we'll explore the potential growth opportunities these undervalued stocks present. I'll show you stocks that are at their 52-week lowest price and have the potential to reach a million-dollar portfolio valuation with only a $10,000 investment. And stay tuned for the grand finale, a stock with the potential to turn that $10,000 into over $8 million and pay over $200,000 in monthly dividends. Starting at number 5, we have The Hershey Company. Known by the ticker symbol HSY, this company is known for its delicious chocolates and sweets and is one of the promising options among 52-week low dividend stocks thanks to its strong dividend history and favorable financial metrics. Currently trading at around $196 per share, the company's stock price is close to its 52-week low, making it an attractive prospect for investors seeking value. One of the most appealing aspects of Hershey is its steady dividend growth over the years. With a starting dividend yield of around 2.83%, Hershey has consistently increased its dividend payouts, showcasing impressive growth rates. Over the past decade, its dividends have grown at a compound annual growth rate CAGR, of 9.83%. This signifies a commitment to rewarding shareholders and reflects the company's strong financial position. And even though it's close to its 52-week low, over the past 10 years, the company, on average, has increased its share price by 6.64% every year. Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in this stock, after one year, his investment will be valued at $10,947. If he keeps this amount invested and reinvests his dividends, after 10 years, his investment will be $25,732. The compounding effect starts around 20 years, and his investment will be worth $73,853. And 30 years later, his investment will be worth around $245,679 paying out $15,205 yearly or $1,267 every month in dividends. In total, this stock will increase his investment by $235,679, in which capital appreciation is $126,915 and value added through dividends is $108,764. These figures are very much achievable because examining Hershey's payout ratios further improves its chances. With a payout ratio of 46.47% and a free cash flow payout ratio of 57.28%, Hershey demonstrates healthy dividend coverage backed by growing free cash flow. This indicates stability and reliability in dividend payments, crucial factors for income-oriented investors. The Hershey Company's combination of strong dividend growth, favorable payout ratios, and undervaluation make it an appealing choice for investors seeking both income and potential capital appreciation. As a trusted brand with a sweet dividend history, Hershey definitely stands out as a noteworthy contender among 52-week low dividend stocks. Next up, we have Hormel Foods Corporation. Known by the ticker symbol HRL, this stock is an attractive option among 52-week low dividend stocks due to its promising dividend prospects and resilient performance. Currently trading around $35, the stock is positioned close to its 52-week low of $28.51, indicating a potential buying opportunity for investors. One of the standout features of Hormel Foods is its impressive dividend yield, starting at 3.29%. Moreover, the company has a commendable track record of consistently increasing its dividend payouts over time. It has a 10-year dividend compound annual growth rate of 12.05% and also an average share price appreciation of 3.61%. Not the best capital gain, but it's helping beat inflation. The dividend will do the weightlifting in the long run. 
Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in Hormel Foods, after one year, his investment will be valued at $10,690. By reinvesting dividends, after 10 years, his investment will grow to $22,549. Around 20 years, his investment will be worth $87,528. After that, the compounding effect kicks in, and in 30 years, his investment will be worth around $1,040,651, paying out $259,898 yearly or $21,658 every month in dividends. In total, this stock will increase his investment by $1,030,651 with $127,647 from capital appreciation and $903,004 from dividend reinvestment. Million dollar growth sounds good, but wait until the last stock, which has the potential to grow $10,000 to upwards of $8 million and pay over $200,000 in monthly dividends. Now, back to our current stock, examining HRL's valuations further underscores its attractiveness as a dividend stock. The stock has low volatility, as indicated by its low beta of 0.27. Utilizing the intrinsic valuation model, the stock is currently 4% undervalued. This, in combination with a strong dividend track record, resilient performance, and promising valuations, makes Hormel Foods stand out as a noteworthy contender among 52-week low dividend stocks, offering the potential for long-term growth and income generation. At number three, we have Pfizer. Known by the ticker symbol PFE, this stock stands out as a potential gem among 52-week low dividend stocks for several reasons. Firstly, let's talk about those dividends. They've been steadily increasing over 10 years, going from about $1 per share to $1.68, showing a positive trajectory. That means if you invest in Pfizer, you're likely to enjoy a growing stream of dividend income. Now, while the stock has taken a beating lately, dropping about 30.42% over the past year, it's not all doom and gloom. With Pfizer's history of increasing dividends, investors might see this low point as an opportunity to buy in at a discount. Plus, the current dividend yield of 6.09% is looking pretty attractive compared to the stock's price, not to mention a dividend growth rate of 5.92%. But what about the company's ability to sustain those dividends? Well, historically, Pfizer has had a decent track record of covering its dividend payments with free cash flow. Sure, there was a blip in 2023 where they didn't quite cover it, but that was largely due to exceptional circumstances related to the vaccine boom. Moreover, Pfizer's low beta of 0.56 indicates that it's not as volatile as some other stocks out there. This could be comforting for investors who prefer a smoother ride. Here's the breakdown should John decide to invest $10,000 in this stock. After one year, his investment will be $10,512. By reinvesting dividends, after 10 years, his investment will reach $20,398. The compounding effect grows significantly around 20 years, with his investment valued at $84,598. 30 years in, his investment will be worth around $1,223,361, with dividends paying $364,648 yearly or $30,387 every month. In total, this stock will increase his investment by $1,213,361, with $1,249,894 from dividend reinvestment, though capital appreciation is negative, at negative $36,533 because of its average stock price loss. At number two, we have Starbucks Corporation. Known by the ticker symbol SBUX, this company is famous for its coffee shops and is an appealing choice among 52-week low dividend stocks for several reasons. Despite facing a dip in its stock price over the past year, dropping around 7.12%, Starbucks remains a robust contender for dividend investors. 
It has a current dividend yield of 2.52%, but one of the most enticing aspects of Starbucks is its consistent dividend growth rates. Over the past decade, its dividends have increased at an impressive rate of 16.69%. Even though it had a rough year last year, looking at the bigger picture, the company shows an average share price appreciation of 9.43%. Examining the financial health of Starbucks, its cash flow payout ratios, though relatively high, around 56%, still indicate a company committed to rewarding shareholders through dividends. Based on these metrics, if John invests $10,000 in Starbucks stock, after one year his investment will be valued at $11,195. By reinvesting dividends, after 10 years, his investment will grow to $33,804. The compounding effect significantly accelerates around 20 years, with his investment reaching $156,016. 30 years later, his investment will be worth around $1,310,379, with dividends paying $195,899 yearly or $16,325 monthly. In total, this stock will increase his investment by $1,300,379, with $512,410 from capital appreciation and $787,969 from dividend reinvestment. These are good returns, but coming up next, there is one stock that's even better with the potential to reach an $8 million valuation and pay over $200,000 in monthly dividends. Now back to Starbucks. In terms of valuation, it shows promise across multiple metrics. Despite normal volatility levels, the stock is undervalued by 15%. Considering all these factors and averaging the various valuations, Starbucks presents investors with a potential opportunity for both dividend income and long-term growth. And now, at number one, we have Altria Group Incorporated. Known by the stock ticker MO, this is one of the most enticing options among 52-week low dividend stocks, primarily due to its remarkable dividend history and high starting dividend yield. Trading at around $339.95 per share, Altria boasts an impressive dividend yield of approximately 9.09%, making it a magnet for income-oriented investors. What truly sets Altria apart is its status as a dividend king, having consistently increased its dividends for over 50 consecutive years. Despite its recent dip in stock price, down about 15.36% over the past year, Altria Group has now recovered and is down only 1%. If you look at the big picture, stock price appreciation is around 1.48%, but that's not the stock's strong suit. Its strength is in its current dividend yield of 9.09% and strong dividend growth of 7.51%. Before showing how much John can increase his portfolio valuation using this stock, let's find out if it's stable enough to do so. Researching the company's dividend metrics, while its payout ratios may seem high at around 77% for dividends and 74.57% for free cash flow, they align closely with management's targeted levels. Additionally, Altria's dividend is well covered by its free cash flow, indicating a sustainable payout structure. From a valuation standpoint, Altria continues to present compelling opportunities. In fact, based on the intrinsic valuation model, the stock is extremely undervalued by 41%. And as for the dividend discount model, it's undervalued by 56%. And this is the reason why this stock has made it to the top of the list. So here we go, let's check out the breakdown of what John can expect for his $10,000 investment in Altria Group. After one year, John's investment will be $11,057. By reinvesting dividends, after 10 years, his investment will reach $35,354. Around 20 years, the compounding effect intensifies, with his investment valued at $279,649. 
30 years later, his investment will be worth around $8,105,696, with dividends paying $2,663,249 yearly or $221,937 monthly. In total, this stock will increase his investment by $8,095,696 with $270,137 from capital appreciation and $7,825,558 from dividend reinvestment. So, million dollar portfolio valuation sounds good, but what if you could get it over $10 million? Click the video on the screen to see Bill Gates' best dividend stock.